it's so messed up like think about it if we had a picture of a beautiful girl with acne which is totally okay it doesn't make her any less beautiful but if we photoshopped her face we could definitely run ads on that same exact person just with the little photoshop at her face how messed up is that how messed up is that hey everyone this is daisy i am the ceo and founder of banish and first and foremost let's talk about this shirt this is from Liz, Pretty Progress 23. Definitely check out her merch because it's super cute. But today I wanted to talk about something that I think is absolutely ludicrous. I think it's absolutely terrible and just like, how have we gotten here in this day and age in 2019? So you guys know that running marketing on Banish, we use Facebook ads a lot of the time. And we're in the business of helping people with their skin. We are basically at Banish Acne Scars, right? And our Facebook page is Banish Beauty. But we are actually not allowed to run Facebook ads on pictures of people with acne because Facebook labels it as vulgar or offensive. Now, let's just get this straight. You can upload a picture of somebody with good skin, but you cannot upload a picture of somebody who has a little bit of acne and you can't run ads on people who have a little bit of acne. That's not okay because it's considered offensive. Now, I understand Facebook has regulations on what you can post and what you can run ads on. I mean, definitely it would not be appropriate to post like pornographic images on Facebook. I get that. It's definitely not appropriate to post slander or to post like cult-like weird kind of things. Yeah, that makes sense. But to not be able to run ads on a picture of somebody who has acne because it's considered offensive, that I think is hugely messed up. Because if you think about it, acne is a normal skin condition. Hundreds of millions of people have suffered with acne, have gone through acne, suffer with acne scars, suffer with skin conditions. And honestly, as Leah, one of our Banished Warriors, has said in her podcast, she says acne is neutral, which is totally the case. Acne is not positive, it's not negative, it's neutral. But we as a society, we have dictated that yo, acne is not good, yo, acne is offensive, and yo, use and all these products and do whatever you can to try to get rid of acne because acne is not something that anybody should have. And this is really messed up. Like someone needs to complain to Facebook and say, why can't we run ads on people with acne? They are just as beautiful, just as brave, just as amazing as people with normal skin, right? Saying that you can't run ads on people with acne is saying like you can't run ads on people with a different color skin tone or a different kind of skin type that you don't like. That is totally unfair. And to label acne as vulgar is to label somebody with a different skin tone as unpretty or whatnot. So somebody needs to go to Facebook and tell them that they need to change their regulation in terms of that. And I think it is so sad in this day and age, in 2019, that People are still, I mean, not people, but this algorithm, you know, people are running the algorithm, people are coding these algorithms. These algorithms are saying that people with acne are vulgar at the end of the day and that it's offensive and something needs to be done about it. This conversation and this dialogue needs to be changing. And I'm so glad that on our account at Banish Acne Scars on our Instagram account where we don't run ads because we wouldn't be able to run any ads really honestly on our products. It's very, very difficult because we can't post, you know, before and after we can't post images of people with acne or skin conditions, but it's so great that on Instagram, we have so many of our warriors and the content that we post, we're showcasing skin positivity. We're never gonna be showcasing uh, people with perfect skin. We're never gonna be showcasing people with flawless skin. We're gonna be showcasing real people, untouched photos, sharing with you their story, their experience, and telling you that, yo, it's totally okay to have acne. It's totally okay to have these skin conditions. It doesn't matter what your skin looks like. It matters how you feel inside. It's so messed up, like think about it. If we had a picture of a beautiful girl with acne, which is totally okay, it doesn't make her any less beautiful, but if we photoshopped her face, we could definitely run ads on that same exact person just with the little Photoshop at her face. How messed up is that? How messed up is that? What are we telling this young generation? That what, we wanna perpetuate the cycle of perfection? That yo, Facebook will only promote your posts if people look like perfect people? And no, Facebook will not promote your posts if they're showing real people with real skin problems. And what is that saying? And this is why I think these like 
these algorithms and the social media stuff is so bullshit really honestly at the end of the day because they're not being real they're totally alienating a huge portion of their user base and we need to showcase and tell them that yo acne is beautiful and acne is not offensive and acne is totally normal so thank you all so much for watching this channel follow us at at banish acne scars where you can see real people with real skin problems with acne and embrace the beautifulness of their acne and also follow me on at dazers 89 and check the description box because there may be a giveaway maybe not okay bye